something I've noticed, which I'm guessing will be of interest. You have to excuse me, I've got no shirt on, but I'm on holiday, I'm in shorts, and I'm on my balcony, you know, so excuse the bare shoulders, you know, this is why. Now, there's something I noticed. Uh, there was a, a doctor, apparently, an American, who uh, sent these uh, ridiculous, hysterical tweets out. That's a hot Barry here from my balcony in Hainan. Caught a very heavy cold, um, which at this point in time is a worrying thing to have got. <laughs> to get a cold at the chest um, at a time when COVID or the Delta variant or whichever one it is, is rampant again. And then having to get here and have and register and be registered by the police and uh, have a COVID test, a uh, nucleic acid test. It's all been a bit worrying and a bit trying. And um, so I have my tea, customer Chinese tea, and uh, my hand rolled Chinese tobacco cigarette. Very healthy. <coughs> Protects my lungs, don't you know? Anyway, um, yeah, it was not as easy as I had imagined. Uh, things to be with with the flooding that happened and then the the recent outbreaks that have been occurring across China um, which are not easy for China for anybody to contain China are better than most probably better than anybody else at containing these things um, so I got here and uh, I, I think I arrived here about 8 8 p.m. in the evening and uh, I couldn't come into this. I'll show you where I am. Um, this is my place. It's, in there. it's very nice. I'm renting this off a very helpful and lovely Chinese couple, Adam and Alice. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. But this is the. This is called Perfume Bay. Just outside Ling Shui in Hainan. This is actually probably the best beach in Hainan because it, it's shallow and I'll pan you over. It's, it's long, it's a long stretch of shallow beach. You can see by the color of the sea. And so, yeah, this is where I am. Um, I lost my angle now, oh Jesus. Anyway, um, <coughs> I had to, the, the, the security here wouldn't let me in. Even though it's this is who I am, this is who I rented off. It's like, well, you, if you're not registered with the police, you can't come in. Okay, so I had to get my taxi driver to traipse me around the locality and Ling Shui and trying to find a police station. <coughs> Excuse me, that's open at 8 p.m. in Ling Shui County. <coughs> it really is not easy. Um, and I'm coughing <laughs> all the time, which doesn't look good. <clears throat> anyway, we, after much trial and error, visiting several police stations more than one time, um, I eventually managed to, to, to register, temporarily register. Um, and I'm, these days, I'm not the most patient of fellows. Um, and... Uh, But I understood, I understood why there is a caution, why there is precaution. So I understand why there are precautions. I, I understand why and why I understand why there has to be. Because, and because, and I understand that you have to stick to the regulations. You have to abide by the regulations. China and the government and the health authorities here know what they're doing. They dealt with this once. They dealt with coronavirus and they beat it. 
and now it's mutated and there's a new variant and they have to beat it again and the only way it can be beaten is unity is people working together hand in hand with the government it's one thing the beehive okay so I understood this and I, I, I do understand it and this is why uh, <clears throat> I bit my tongue I'm impatient as I am and uh, did what I had to do uh, so I managed to get in and register and was accepted to to stay here which is very nice um, I haven't had much of a swim yet I've had a couple of swims but it's not enough but <coughs> I've had this cold so the next day I had to they told me they informed me that I, I had to have a, a nucleic acid test and uh, it's like, oh Jesus and I got this thing and I was like oh my god what if what if what if Anyway, I went for my test, I stood in the queues and I got my test and then the next day, which is three days now, I, uh, I got the results which tell me I'm okay, I don't have COVID or any antibodies or whatever it is. So I, I did what I had to do, I did what was required of me, I, I abided by the regulations. I got my test, I'm all clear, everyone's happy. You know, I'm happy, except I've got this cold. So, unfortunately, even though I'm on a much, much needed holiday and taking a much, much needed rest, I'm not yet enable, able to really enjoy the sea. Cause I'm actually kind of self-restricting, self, uh, what do they call it? Self-isolating at the minute. Because I don't want to give anyone this cold. Um, so, I'm not moving too much at the moment. Um... But uh, something I noticed, which may be of interest, um, excuse me. Something I've noticed, which I'm guessing will be of interest. To, you have to excuse, I've, I've got no shirt on, but I'm on holiday, I'm in shorts, and I'm on my balcony, you know, so excuse the bare shoulders, you know, this is why. There was a a doctor, apparently an American, who uh, sent these uh, ridiculous, hysterical tweets. I'll, I'll show. I'll do you some screenshots. These hysterical tweets of. Uh, Of saying she she was being abducted they'd sent 20 police officers to abduct her against her will and move her to a, a, a COVID ridden city where she was going to die and and she was she was literally this person was saying uh, Emily Emily J Odell is the name and apparently she she was I don't know I guess teaching here the Sichuan University. I'm not sure about this yet, and I'm not sure about this person yet because she seems completely insane to me, uh, and like the kind of person who is actually trying to pave the way with some sensationalism, so she can write some some book about her close shave with the Chinese authorities and how she escaped and all this terrible authoritarian bullshit. Um, so I'll screenshot you these things. But there's this contrast between how she, what the truth is, right? She, she according to her uh, website, she, um, she's a, a multiple doctorate from uh, what they call uh, the, uh, what the fuck they called? 
Nice clown. Excuse me. They're called the, the Ivy League, the Ivy League universities in America. And whether that's true or not, I don't know, because from the complete lack of intelligence and reasonable humanity of these tweets that she made, this sensationalist nonsense, uh, it seemed to me that, that she can't be so smart. The things she was saying, I'll show you. Um, but according to her, her blog and her website, she, she's a, a multiple doctorate from all these Ivy League places. This might have been online. According to her, she's been teaching at these places as well, Brown University, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> well, all I can say is, if this is the level of Ivy League mentality, trust me, don't go anywhere near these fuckers because they're fucking insane. I mean, seriously, there's something fucking wrong up here with these people. You'll see, you'll see what I'm saying when I show you the screen clips. Fucking mental. Um, Despicable doesn't cover it. Low life doesn't cover it. Ivy League, my asshole, really. So, and I'm, I'm holding these two things as a contrast between, between me, all right, I'm a grumpy old bastard, okay? I'm a grumpy old man at this point in my life. I, I'm, not very, I'm not very patient. I don't suffer fools gladly. I don't like impingements on my liberty or, or, or being told what to do by anybody for any reason. But I understand what has to be done during this crisis. Again, I understand what has to be done. I understand why it has to be done. This person, so-called Ivy League, Fuck knows why anybody would employ this person. I, I am a, I'm astonished at any Chinese university that would employ anybody on the basis of this piece of paper which says, according to them, I've got this, 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 this. I'm fucking mental, but I've got these pieces of paper. And, and often this is one criticism I have of China sometimes, is that China can be swayed by this uh, elitism this Western elitism, this Anglo-Saxon bullshit, right? Having these pieces of paper or these supposed pieces of paper, these uh, apparent qualifications, does not make you a great person to employ. Generally speaking, I, would, I wouldn't fucking employ these people, period. Anyway, so that's just my little niggle with, with this China tends to be swayed by suits and ties, you know, um, by this this facade of uh, Western elitism. Uh, it's bullshit, okay? The, the white Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Zionist bullshit, right? The paper doesn't mean anything. I, I, I have friends who will tell you personally, they're doctors, they have a doctorate from a good British university, and they will tell you my doctorate is bullshit like most doctorates are, they write a thesis and it's mostly bullshit. Nobody fucking reads them, right? So nobody says, actually, are you actually that clever or did you fuck somebody to get this, you know? Anyway, so where was I? I, I digress, excuse me. Um, the point I'm making is I understand completely why things have to be the way they are and I understand what you have to do. In terms of your social responsibility to your fellow people, I understand what has to be done and why it has to be done, okay? This person is like many in the West who come to China or who write about China, who talk about China. They're sensationalists. They have no shame. They have no dignity. Um, they're trying to make money. Basically, there's a couple of reasons why they do this. Either they are really stupid or they're avaricious. It's one of these two things. Usually it's both because they're, they're being paid to be stupid and ignorant. Okay, so it's usually a combination of these things. But these people, and I use the term people very loosely here, these people are despicable. They are beneath contempt. Okay, they write and say what they write and say in order to, to uh, further their careers, their ambition, to be paid for money, um, regardless of what pain or misery or, or, uh, or uh, insult this might cause to other human beings. Fuck them.
really, fuck them all. I'm sorry, my la- I can do this. I'm on my own. I'm on holiday. I can say what I fucking like, and I say, fuck them. Okay, peace. China. Because I'm born.